Hello YouTube. Um, I'm going to show you my pocket survival tin. Take two on a camera with better quality. Uh, on the lid I've got reflective tape. On the inside I've got a mirror for signalling or for looking at myself. It's got a film on it to protect it from scratches. I've got a, an oven bag. This is one of the bags you put chickens in and put it in your oven. Quite big, strong, durable. That'll be handy for collecting water. Um, electrolytes. This is for, well, it's primarily for when you've got the shits. Sorry, when you've got diarrhea, um, where it's got salt in and electrolytes and things like that. Um, I saw somebody's survival kit on YouTube where I had salt in there. I thought that's not a bad idea. And if I'm putting salt in there, why not put some pepper in there? If I have to eat some disgusting food, that will help. Plus the salts have a similar effect as, as the diarrhea powders. Good for you. Um, a drink, powdered drink. That'll make disgusting water taste a bit better. Snare wire. Every survival kit should have some. Alcohol wipe. Sewing kit with some sewn needles and uh, one of them safety pin things. I uh, got some jute twine, some string, antiseptic TCP. If I've got any cuts or anything like that, and just put that on, it'll clean it for me. I got my personal medication, painkillers, um, allergy tablets as well, because I get allergies this time of year, which can be a bit of a nightmare for me. Uh, a small battery, and the small battery goes in this uh, battery operated chem light. These are for the end of fishing rods. Uh, I have Put a battery in, tested it in a dark room. It does illuminate the whole room to such a point where you can find what you want to find. You can see things okay. They're a lot more effective than them chem lights, you know, them snappable ones. And they'll last a lot longer as well. I've got a, a bullion beef stock cube. Make a drink with that. Uh, this is a, a fire starter. It's a uh, one of them all weather matches uh, taped to a birthday cake candle these burn like hell I'll have to do a review on them sometime uh, got a button compass got a ferrocium rod which, I've, which I'm keeping in the straw I don't know what I can use the straw for but it fits so I've got a straw if I need one. A sharpening stone for my knife. A diamond sharpening rod for my knife. I had some space so I put it in there. Waxed jute twine. Good for fire starting. This is one of them cotton rounds <clears throat> which I compressed a few times in a vise and then I soaked it in um, beeswax. I could cut that into a few sections and make a few fires out of that. This is uh, this is Sudafed. I I suffer with nose decongestion. Um, when my nose is blocked, I feel like uh, I'm suffocating. I do need it a few times a day. I'm lost without it, so that's there in emergencies. I've got a small fishing kit. Got some fishing lures in there. Yeah, some weights, some hooks, a couple of them hooks and eyes and some paper clips which I can fashion into hooks for feeding the line through. You know, if I, fi if I find a stick I can attach them to the stick using duct tape which I'll show you in a minute. Earplugs, uh, if I'm camping somewhere near a road or some industry or something I would like to get some sleep so they'll come in handy. A torch with multiple different functions. Uh, I've got some glue, um, super glue. 
I like to use super glue on cuts instead of plasters. It's just what I prefer. I find it works well, it's effective. Uh, whistle. This is a, spit, a Fisher space pen. Um, they, they can write upside down in all different climates. You can write underwater with them. You can write in space with them, essentially. Uh, fat wood. Help get the fire going. Tea light candle. Two spools of fishing line. I've got monofilament fishing line and braided fishing line. Super glue stick. I think I can probably use that to repair things like the tarp. I don't know really what else I could do with it to be fair. Stick things to things. I don't know, I'd have to improvise. Uh, some small chem lights. Some tweezers from a Swiss Army knife. Not this one, because this is a, an Alox, Alox one. So you can't put tools in the side of this. This is a, um, a Farmer X. This is the Farmer with the scissors. Nice tool, very strong, very reliable. Also, it's got a saw, in, a saw in there. I'm not too keen on them stupid little flimsy wire saws. I've seen too many people use them on YouTube when they break every time. I have had a go myself and broke it as soon as I used it. So I'd rather use something a bit more reliable, especially when it's in a survival situation. Uh, duct tape, millions of uses for this. Uh, for me, gear repair, I could use it to make a bandage out of, you know, cover a wound or something like that or a hole on my tarp, or my tent, or whatever. Small lighter. I have quite a few of these. I've got some on my... Carry one of my car keys. Uh, they do hold the fuel for a very long time, which is why I stock up on them. This is quite wet. There we go. That's a handy little lighter. Sail needle. Key ring, ring. I don't know why it's in there, but it is. It must have come off something, and I thought I'll just shove that in as well. I could use it for something, I suppose. Uh, these are quite cheap off eBay. You got fishing hooks on it, frog gigs, jigs. I'm not too sure what they are. You you can make arrow. You can get a arrow head to a stick, and you know. I don't know. It's one of them. <laughs> uh, some plasters, the Americans call them band-aids. I've got some H-shaped plasters. They're good for knuckles and fingers and what have you. Another H-shaped bandage. Hand sanitizer. A sweet or a candy if you're an American. A razor sharp blade. A guitar pick or plectrum. Uh, these are excellent for fire lighting. They catch a spark off your ferro rod quite easy. You just gotta fray the edges up a little bit, but they burn like hell. Very hot. Uh, water purif purification tablets. They'll go along with the, uh, the water collection bag. Aluminium foil, tin foil, or aluminum foil if you're from America. There's about three meters of it there, yeah, so there's quite a lot. And some paper, which seems to have stained a little bit. I got a few pieces of paper in there. And that's it. Um, if you can think of anything I can add to it to improve it, or any questions, just comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.